it's Kim with a K, so I'm coming to you guys with a new tag video. This is gonna be the about a year ago. New year, same K I'm cutting up. Y'all already know. Okay, let me stop. But yeah, so I'm coming to you guys with a about a year ago tag. I really wanted to do this video before the new year, but mm, SHIT happens. I'm trying not to swear, but we're gonna see how that go. But um, yeah, so I have a new camera. Do you see the quality, y'all? Like quality on Flickington. This video, I have a tag. I have um. All the questions on my phone. Can y'all believe I can actually show my phone in the video because I'm not recording on my phone. I'm recording on my camera. Like, ah! I know y'all already tired of me. Anyway, so, yeah, it's the About A Year Ago tag. And there are 12 questions. And let's see if I can get through all of these questions really quick because I am actually, actually need to uh, get to work soon. So I'll let go. Okay, so question number one, it says, biggest accomplishment of 2015. I would have to say my biggest accomplishment was graduating from college. Like, what an awesome feeling like let me grab my diploma yes Kennesaw State University I have a bachelor's of science in political science with a concentration in legal studies and a minor in criminology yes education on fleek so I'm so happy that was definitely my biggest accomplishment of 2015 okay number two best memory of 2015 best memory of 2015 I don't want to say college graduation because I feel like that could be like all my answers to every single question but my best memory of 2015 I really would have to say like graduation day like after the ceremony like the moment when I had my mom I had my dad I had my stepmom I had my boyfriend I had all my close friends their parents like it was just one of those moments like I had it was just like everybody that really really was there from the beginning of me going to college it just Everybody was there. I could cry thinking about it. My godmother was there. My Aunt Vanessa was there. Like, it was just, ah, that was the best memory. It felt so good to have all the people surround me, around me that really, really helped me through the whole process of college, y'all, because it was a less struggle. Number three, biggest obstacle of 2015. Um, the biggest obstacle would have to be um, the fact that I didn't go straight through the law school. My game plan was to graduate from college in May and go to law school in August, but that didn't happen. I am waiting a year, so I think that was my biggest obstacle to overcome. Basically, God was telling me to have patience, slow down, trust his timing, and I really had to do that. It, it was definitely hard, and even some days now, I'm like, dang, you know, like, I could be in law school right now, I'm waiting an extra year, a year longer, a year older, like, I just feel like we all tend to make ourselves rush through things like that, so it really made me sit down like Cam. Relax. Take a chill pill because I was going to school year round in college, so I technically I really, really, really needed this break. So it was a blessing in disguise. But that was definitely an obstacle. I have other obstacles, but that was the number one. Um, number four, it says top five favorite beauty product products of 2015. My top five favorite beauty products of 2015 would have to be my Ruby Kisses highlight in um golden bronze. I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's the um. Ruby Kisses All Over Glow in the color Bronze Powder. Yeah, I love this stuff. I still use it on highlight on fleek. Um, my second one would have to be All Color Pop Ultra Matte Lippies. I have like 10 of them. Like, I love these. My third product would have to be um, Real Techniques uh, Makeup Brushes and their sponges are amazing. Like, Yes, absolutely amazing. My fourth product would have to be, I don't want to go get it, but it's um my, uh, what is it called? St. Ives Apricot Oatmeal Scrub that I use on my face. I will link all the names in the description box. I'm sorry if I'm like butchering them. My fifth product would have to be the Morphe 35N eyeshadow palette that I bought. It was like my first like official eyeshadow palette besides like my Maybelline and stuff like that. I really love this eyeshadow palette and I am definitely going to be buying more from them and hopefully some other um places yeah, leave a comment below your top five favorite beauty products of 2015 i would love to hear them i'm sure i have a few others that i just couldn't think of but those are the top five that i thought of like right now okay so question number five is bloopers from 2015 since i vlog and all that i love vlogging and it really is just good for me to like be able to document what i'm doing and i can like look back at the videos but yeah i'm gonna insert some of those clips right now we got food this burger y'all oh my gosh like uh. I 
don't know. I'll be back. Bruh. This shit is so hard. I had to take off my wig. I had to take it off. This bed is this bed is heavy as fuck. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm going ahead and add um ice cube uh fine son hello did y'all see shout out something because i was like give me your number and i call <laughs> okay let me get back yeah okay. number six favorite mainstream youtube favorite mainstream youtubers and non-mainstream youtubers um my favorite mainstream youtubers i'm gonna go to my youtube but my favorite so it would be jay lacorian or the glamaholic um raven elise tv um let me look at my list, y'all. Ashley D. Beauty, for sure. Beauty by JJ. Sydney Black. Daily Davison's. Dollface Beauty. Ellery. L for Lexi. Like, I could go on. I have a lot, a lot of top. Like, It's My Ray Ray. Jacqueline Hill. Like, oh, she slays. Jessica Pedway. Journey to Waste Lynn. Keisha Anderson. I love her. And she's in Atlanta one day. I want to just meet you. We can do a collab, girl. What's up? Holla at me. Uh, Lakia Star. Lipstick and Curls. Y'all, I love her. Um... Missy Lynn, Morgan Taylor, Aaliyah J, Alyssa Fer I could literally go on with the mainstreams. Okay, so favorite non-mainstream. I don't know, like, if they're mainstream, mainstream to y'all, but... Oh, and I love Patricia Bright. How could I forget? Um, anyway, fa oh, and Rose Kimberly, my mom. How could I forget my mom? Like, how could I forget my mom? Mom, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um... But yeah, and Spartisa Beauty, like, I could literally go on. So favorite, like, non-mainstream, Taylor Miller. I don't know if she's necessarily, like, non-mainstream, but I love her. I really love her. Um, Tayamo Aaron, Aaliyah's face, y'all are asleep. She's blowing up very quickly. If you have not, if you haven't seen her channel, go check it out right now. Um, after this video, of course. Asia, Paris, Japan. I don't know if she's, like, mainstream, mainstream, but I love her. Definitely check out her channel. Um, who else do I have? Um, Courtney Bean. She's a new YouTuber. Definitely check her out. She puts in so much work in her videos. I love her. She is so sweet. Like, definitely check out her, her channel. Oh, I forgot. Julesy and Jackie Anna. Um, for, uh, mainstream. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, Natasha Smith. Y'all, I know her personally. Like, <laughs> that's one of my friends. But, uh, yeah, she definitely has amazing makeup tutorials. Definitely check her out. Oh, and definitely check out Alicia Coleman. She goes to Kennesaw State University. She has great videos, y'all. I love her videos. And maybe because, like, I really know her, I'd be cracking up. Like, girl, you still be like... But I love her channel. I think that's about it. If I think of anybody else, I'll put them in the description box below. Number, um... Number seven. Regrets of 2015. Ain't no regret, bitch. But, um... Regrets. Um... I probably could come up with some, but I'm gonna leave those in the past. Ain't no future in the past, babe. None. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... Say no regrets 2015. Like, YOLO, live it up. Okay, that YOLO thing was not okay. Okay. <laughs> Number eight. Most memorable phrases of the year 2015. I have all the phrases. Like, like anything that'd be like, so-and-so bitch. Be like, ain't no life bitch, ain't no food bitch, ain't no YouTube bitch, ain't no fake bitch, ain't no real bitch, ain't no work bitch. Like, what else? Um, Lit, like that's lit. Fleeky, everything can be fleeky. You on fleek, fleeky. What else? Um, memorable phrases. Like, I can't think of any. I have so many phrases I say all the time. Like, oh, all my life I had to fight. Like, I've been saying that for years. Like, all my life I really did have to fight. Like, you so happy to beat me. Yes, that's from the color purple, but I just let it ride. Like, all my life I had to fight. Like, or I'd be like, so you mad. Oh, you're mad. I think that was another year, too. But I say it this year, this past year. I said it in 2015. I can't think of anything else, but I have a lot of different phrases. Like, I just come up with and I just kind of, like, go with the flow. <laughs> Number nine, most embarrassing moment of 2015. Ooh. Honestly, I'm not the type to get embarrassed easy, like, easily. Like, so if something happens, I'm just like, okay. Okay, and what about like? But, um, I can't think of any. Maybe, like, you know, okay, on your phone, you can, like, I don't want to show you guys my messages. And, like, slide over and, like, click reply. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know. I didn't know you could do that. So, I guess that's. A little embarrassing. <laughs> um, number 10, lessons learned from 2015. Ooh, lessons learned. So basically, um, 2015 was a year of growth. It was a year of full of lessons like patience, um, trusting in God, pushing myself further to do better in a lot of different areas. Um, trying not to be so defensive because I don't know, maybe it's like an only child thing. It's just me. I was just always been defensive. So I feel like, uh, 
the world's out to get me. But they're really not. Um, that's something I definitely learned in 2015. Appreciating the relationships that I have around me now. As a, not just relationship like boyfriend, girlfriend type thing. As in friendships. Like really, really, really valuing each relationship I have with different people. Like my girls, I try to appreciate them as much as I can. Basically focusing on what I have and the people I have around me now. Rather than being upset about things that I don't have or never have or don't have anymore. So definitely focusing on, definitely appreciate what I have, basically. <laughs> Number um, 11, goals for 2016. So I definitely have some YouTube goals. I reached a thousand subscribers, like, I can't even put in words that that is amazing, like a thousand subscribers. Holy crap, like, I really thought, like, when I hit 100 subscribers, I was so lit. Like, I'm talking about so turned, like, excited, like, what's up, like, yes, do it, yes. Oh, that's another word, that's another phrase of 2015, yes, slay! Okay, anyway. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you that subscribed. Seriously, it means so much to me. I didn't even think I would reach over, like, 100, then over 500, now I'm at 1,000 subscribers, like, y'all, we can do this, like, channel growth. Like, I'm so excited. So definitely one of my goals is to continue to keep growing uh, here on YouTube. And giving you guys better quality content, um, more consistent uploads and everything like that. I definitely want to stay consistent with YouTube. And I also made like um, a goals slash resolutions list. I'll read you some of them. One of them is to get accepted into law school and actually go um, to save at least $100 to $200 a month. To move into my own apartment. To visit my dad. To visit Michigan. To focus on growth and progression in each of my relationships with my friends and so on. To respect, to visit my mom more often. To do a collab because I haven't done any collab videos. To be in the gym at least three times a week. To continue to fall in love with myself. I think that's so important. Self love is top priority. To volunteer at least twice a month. I love volunteering and this past year I fell off and I'm just I have I'm I gotta get back and do it. It's something I love and I gotta make sure I'm sticking to it. To stay more organized to finish strong my first semester in law school, and so on, and so on, and so forth. So yeah, those are just some of my goals for 2016. Okay, number 12, what am I looking forward to in 2016? I'm just looking forward to seeing everything that's going to come my way, whether it's an obstacle I have to overcome, whether it's an accomplishment that I'm going to be so proud of, whether it's success, failure, whatever. I'm just looking forward to a whole new year of new experiences and, um, yeah, I'm really, really thankful for where I am right now. I have no complaints. You know, um, my number, my thing I always pray for is health, wealth, and wisdom. So I definitely pray over 2016 that I continue to do that, to get that, to work towards it, to better myself, and just be thankful for everything that I have. And I'm just excited about this new year. 2015 was definitely a rough year, um, in a variety of different areas of my life but I made it through I pushed through I'm healthy I'm blessed so yeah I'm just really excited for 2016 so yeah if you haven't done this about a year ago tag then I definitely tag you and also if you have any other video requests you'd like me to do leave it in the comment section below and also I'm thinking about doing a collab I don't know if you have any um youtubers you'd like to see me collab with or if you are a youtuber you'd like to collab with me definitely leave a comment below I'm trying to um just reach out and be more i don't know involved on youtube so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys and happy new year make 2016 the best one yet love you guys later